Loveline is meant for an adult audience. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. Content. Listener discretion is advised. Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Loveline, coast to coast. Hey, everybody. It's the Love Line. I'm Adam Carolla. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist, wearing a red shirt. Never seen Drew wear a red shirt in my entire life. Never owned a red shirt in my entire life. Where'd you get that shirt? Uh, Eddie Bauer. Do you know him or are you talking no, about the store? I just went and got a shirt, yeah. Actually, That's maybe it. somebody got this for me. You're right. Mm-hmm. And what is that uh, swastika on that? That's Eddie, the Eddie Bauer sign. Oh, Jesus. Uh-huh. Oh, that, that that stuff must not fly in other parts of the country. Or you, some uh, faggoty outdoorsman guy puts his name on a canteen and they want uh, 1800 bucks for it. That's, I mean, a, that's a Los Angeles Don't thing. they laugh at us yeah. in other oh, parts of, of the country for that? Of course. Okay. Brian Persain and uh, Pat Oswald are both here from... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where they're from. <laughs> Actually, but I, I, I don't care where they're from, but I'll tell you where they're going. Right to the goddamn top. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Wow. That's right. They're going to be uh, at the uh, Melrose uh, Improv this uh, Friday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The whole entire weekend, these two guys are going to be playing there. Well, now, what do you guys, who goes on first? How do you do it? Brian uh, goes on. Well, first a monkey, and then yeah, me. And then Brian, and then, uh, and then I apologize for his set, and then try to just get a few laughs, and it, it, the whole, the whole night just kind of comes out even. But you guys, you, you guys <laughs> were very out. clear now what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. I put on my cape and uh, ride off stage in a motorcycle. It's pretty cool. Patton uh, helped us out on uh, Crank Yankers. Oh, we nice. had some uh, nice times with uh, oh. him out in uh, Vegas. And, what did uh, you, what did you? Uh, I was I was a I was who I was the morbidly obese guy mm-hmm. Franklin Chebworth trying to get <laughs> apartments mm-hmm. and I would call up and say uh uh, I'm just looking for a space where uh, things are reachable. I, I just need a reachable space. And if, if you as a roommate, that's you're going to really, you know, I need you to be a hero and to really help me out. I need you to step up, be my hero there. And, uh, at, one, at one point, we had a guy that said that the, he thought the shower was too small for me. Like he was trying to talk me out of get, taking the apartment. Yeah. And I said, well, you could just soap up the walls and then I'll move in there and just kind of scooch around. I'll get my whole torso. Patton uh, is uh, sounds like a fat guy on the phone. Yes, yes. yeah, <laughs> no, I can really, yeah, yeah, and uh, and and Were he you a also fat guy it, th- that's a really bad superpower, <laughs> his ability to sound like a fat guy on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I was bitten by a radioactive fat guy. <laughs> I have that power. He also is a uh, boomer of uh, Boomer and the Nudge. Oh, that's right, the, Boomer uh, and the Nudge, and you are. I'm, I'm well, I'm Donkey Boy. Donkey Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like our PA that we just abuse and? But uh, Bo- Boomer and the Nudge are uh, Jimmy and Patton, and they're the uh, sort of stereotypical uh, morning zoo. Right, 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 and, uh, right. Exactly. Got it. But really, give give <laughs> give Drew a little shot with the uh, mezzo piece. You mean a little, little taste of Boomer and the Nudge? Hey, <laughs> we're doing our drive top here, seventeen minutes on the higher side of five o'clock. We've got a. That's right. We've got a fog hat flapjack snack attack happening down the House of Pancakes on Route Twenty Nine. Bring a platter and stack them high. Boomer of the Nudge. That's right. Thanks, Donkey Boy. We're doing our Friday morning. I hate my boss. Donut toss. Come on down to the station. We'll be tossing your favorite crawlers off the roof. You drive by with a bucket trying to catch them. If you get the crawler with the buckshot in the middle, you get a Boomer of the Nudge. I tell you, what you go get at the bottom of this bucket of Mezzo's bread over there. That's right. right. No, it's scooter bread over Mezzo's pizza over there, <laughs> <laughs> and a leaning tower Pepsi. Oh, God, that was too good. <laughs> oh, it was, was it was scary, yeah. scary good. And you'll get a ticket to the state fair Where this you? weekend, where Public Enemy and Al Stewart are playing <laughs> one time only. <laughs> Isn't that right, Donkey Boy? <laughs> where are you from? Uh, I'm originally uh, from uh, Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. We had a lot of those guys. Yeah. We had the Grease Man. We had a... Uh, <laughs> uh, Smacky, yeah. smacky. <laughs> hey, bud, 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 The Grease Man here. I, I, there uh, was some shrieking, whatever I, he was I saying. I stopped listening to the Grease Man when he beat off on someone's uh, potatoes au gratin once. <laughs> <laughs> on the radio? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's good radio. Some that's guy, nice. Like, I'm I'm an atheist who basically makes beat off jokes for a living. And you were offended, and I had to turn yeah, it off. It was like somebody called up 
And 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 he's like, and they're like, uh, hey, Grease man. It was some chicks. You're like, what do you do? He was like, and she was like, uh, we're just eating. We're just eating dinner. My family, and me, are just sitting down. And have, hey, man, what are you eating over there? And she's like, uh, well, we're having steak and potatoes. I go, have a little protein on that potato. And he was like, I was like, the Grease man is uh, beating off on her potato dish. That's. Uh, Kids yeah. listening in the living room yeah. while the grease man Horrible. squeezes yeah. one off on the potatoes. Getting ready to go to school. <laughs> I better do smeggy smeggy. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And Brian did nothing. Nothing on our show. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next time. Yeah, that's right. All right. You ready to take some calls? Yeah, let's go. All right. Uh, Rose? Yes. You're 18? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, getting all um, sweaty now. Getting all fired up. <laughs> um, my question is, um, my boyfriend wants to have anal sex with me, but I heard from one of my... <laughs> hey, that's the key that's word of the day. That was our secret word, <laughs> anal. <laughs> okay, Rose. <Russ. laughs> I can, I I can see this is going to be a long <laughs> evening. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I heard from one of my male friends, like, um, when he has anal sex with his girlfriend, yeah. last time when he pulled out, he had a surprise on his penis. Yeah, well, shocked. What, an elf? <laughs> no, but wait a minute. What, what, a whistle. What, what, but, how big a surprise, I but, guess, but is how the shocking question. Can I mean, that, how shocking can that be? <laughs> You know right. what I'm saying? Um, uh, he, he's, he didn't really get it, get much into details. But you understand what I'm saying? Why, why is that such a surprise to him? Why Hasn't he, he ever heard milk, milk, lemonade? <laughs> that that simple rhyme that they teach you when you're six and learning about anal sex? <laughs> that's why they teach you that rhyme. That's why you learn that rhyme. Exactly. I've got to teach my kids that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're hey, right. Uh, you're right uh, Rose, so <laughs> are you scared you're going to uh, leave a surprise for your boyfriend? <laughs> yes, I am. Why are you even engaging in this stuff? What, what's, what's it? Something you enjoy? Um, I never actually did it, but it's something he wants to try. Yeah, but so, do you, do you want to do it? Um, <laughs> for him, I would. Well, but why? Is it, well, uh, just fast then, and then take some psyllium husk, <laughs> and then blow it out, and then you'll be clean, and you won't leave any surprises. Right, do, give yourself some animas, but be that as it may. It, or put actual surprises up there. Get some action figures from, like, Star Wars, and go, right. you know, if you come out with Senator Wrap Palpatine, bears I'll buy you a shrimp boat. <laughs> <laughs> be that as it may, if, uh... This is something that you find uncomfortable or you, you're not really particularly motivated to do. Just, you know, take it easy. He'll be all right. He's fine. All right. Do, uh, what, do, uh, what, do, what do hardcore, regular anal guys do? Do they... Do they enema, probably. Do, they, do the males douche down there? Enema. Is that what they do? Yeah. Do you have... They do an enema beforehand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, to uh, get so, so that it's all nice and clean. Yes. What kind of enema? Uh, fleets. What is the fleet enema? And and by the way, it's also the name of a bank, is it not? It's it's bothering yeah, me. It's yeah, on. I yes. just, every time I turn on a baseball game, I see the big fleet yeah. behind home plate, and all I, I just think anima, 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 strike out, anima, 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 pop up, anima, hey, anima, 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 hey, anima, 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 yes. Yeah, it's all I think is 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 it? It's spelled the same way. I think that they they make so much that they needed to start a bank. What should, is it? Should I think about a car every time your name is mentioned? I would People like can to have do. different names. Right. I mean, no, two well, things have the same name. Not, I don't have that much range right. emotionally. Is right, else? But what is what is in a yes? It's, it's hot. It's so here. hot in here. Yeah, it's, it's, warm. Un what, it's unbelievable. What is uh, what is in the fleet enema? Uh, and his fleet is a brand name. Fleet's right? a brand. Yeah, Fleet's <laughs> makes a bunch of stuff. What, what? One of them they make an oil enema, an oil retention enema, and the other is uh, they have soap suds, and there's a uh, really? I know it's the usual ones like a Basco? salt solution, I think. Really? Yeah. I, I use the uh, Cool Ranch is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'm really just the good. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> what What are you looking for out of an enema? Do, do you know what I mean? I mean, what the oil, the soap. Do you know what I mean? You want to get into it? Yeah, I'd like to get into it. All right, this. here we go. Uh, the Basically, right. the oil retention is if you've got something hard and packed in down there and you want to soften it up to get it out. Like your mm -hmm. boyfriend. Oil right. retention. Oil. You have to put the oil in, you hold it for a long time. Right. Like the head of a Ken doll broke off while you were being... Uh, that's right. Mm. You want to soften Tooled. <laughs> that, that's your, a, seems strangely Toby precisely what I had in mind. Right? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the fleet, the usual fleet, is just something to sort of rinse. Right. Something that the residual down at the base there. So that... that and that's, to get things moving That's sometimes. what people would go for. If, then there's a tap water enema. Which is when things are higher up, you got to really put a big volume in there and clean out a larger amount. Goes right onto the, right onto the sink spigot. You mean? No, usually that's the enema bag. That's the, 
in the enema bags. You right. Can, yeah. That's what that tap water. Can you, you self administer these things? Is that yeah. the whole idea? The whole idea is you can. Yes. When yeah. you're older, it gets more difficult. Yeah. Like but didn't you guys beer bong kind of? Mm-hmm. There's something called a Harris flush to get mm-hmm. gas out. Adam, you want to pay attention to this? A what flush? One? What's the that Harris called? Flush? Yeah. The Harris flush. Yeah, that's hard to do by yourself. That's uh, that's uh, Jack's uh, Queen High, I believe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you guys, you guys, you're at the pie gout table. <laughs> yeah, got a Harris flush, baby. That's right. Yeah, That's riverboat. Right. Uh, okay. I want to meet Harris. You happy I, okay, but I did. You guys ever see a enema bag hanging off uh, your grandparents' door? You guys ever, you guys ever catch that? Yeah. Ever come in and have mm. that thing whip back and snap you in the face? My grandma had one, door. and it had. A, I read it, and it said it was addictive on the back, and that. <laughs> <laughs> the, really? You heard on, that before? on the back of the bag? Yeah, yeah it said, well, or not on the actual bag, but in the container, or, you know, on the box, it said that enemas can be addictive. And that's, well, people can get compulsed around them and can do, you know, crazy things with them, yeah. But they don't end up crazy. on the street, like, you know, turning tricks to get an enema no, or something. No, no, okay, no, they don't no, do that, no, no, th- no. that depth of. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sears, spare an enema, man. Brandon. <laughs> I'm a veteran. <laughs> Bail us out. Brandon. Clean your windshield hey. with hey. my ass. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Bro. Hey. I'm a 19-year-old recovering drug addict, mm-hmm. and I am prescribed medication right now. For what? I'm prescribed Adderall. For what? Um, ADD. Mm-hmm. And what was your drug of choice? Speed. Marijuana and alcohol. Okay. Sweet. Well, uh, most or many drug addicts have ADD, and there is debate. Certainly, you should not be on Ritalin or Dizoxin or any of those more amphetamine, pure amphetamine drugs, because that will trigger your disease. But in my experience, I don't think my, this is my opinion, and this is not necessarily every, every doctor's opinion, that a recovering addict should not be on a stimulant under any circumstances. That's my opinion. Okay. And you are, Adderall is a stimulant. It's not nearly as problematic as some of the other ones, and it, if it's helping you a lot, certainly you want to watch very carefully, but you should talk to your sponsor, make sure people in the program are okay with what you're doing, and the people watch you very, very carefully. Yeah. I'm on two other medications also. Uh-oh. I'm on Wellbutrin and Trazodone also. Those are fine. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Thanks. Good luck. Hey, good times, huh? Good times. Have anal sex. I always do. All righty. <laughs> Did you pick up that medicine I called for you today? <clears throat> you, know, no. you mean the downers? Yeah. Yeah, I got those. Okay, I scored okay. those. Okay. Medicine. Drew likes to say, I call it sleep. He likes to call downers sleeping medicine. Mm. <laughs> that's, uh, that's nice. That's a, mm-hmm. like uh, my grandfather would call his uh, bourbon medicine. It's the same. Same thing. He lived in 96, didn't he? A grandfather? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. No, he wasn't a drinker either. No, no one. My, I, got, I, got, I got a family of just, uh, just uh, I, they're like, they should change their name from the uh, Corollas to the Pussies. <laughs> Actually, Somebody tried. Uh, yeah, they tried. So, <laughs> we're thinking, in, in, L, in uh, Ellis Island, yeah, was, yeah. almost. Yeah. This close. <laughs> Yeah. Just call us the pussies, please. <laughs> don't, just call us the pussies. Just, uh, no boozers, no smokers, no one's wow. ever ridden a motorcycle. Uh. I was like, well, you've I broken s- all those bolts. Come on. Yeah. My dad's like never owned a pair of cleats. You know what I mean? Never had a baseball mitt. Never mm-hmm. done yeah. anything. Yeah. Some of that is immigrant stuff. Yeah, my, my dad, some, like, my dad, like, once in a while, he'll, uh, he usually sleeps on his back, you know? But once in a while, he'll, like, sleep on his side. And that's about as crazy as he gets. Wow. Yeah. Wild man. God. Yeah, he'll roll he'll on his side. He's yeah. living for today, man. <laughs> yeah. Running with the devil. Yeah, it's just he goes to bed at uh, he goes to bed at eight o'clock every night. It's, it's really it's it's scary. Uh what is that? Mario? Mario. 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 You're nineteen. What's up? Yeah, I just had a question. Um my girlfriend about a year ago had a, a pat smear and she came up positive for uh, chlamydia. Mm-hmm. And uh I know that when you have chlamydia, you can't get pregnant. You you and can't get pregnant. There's you can't can't get pregnant, right? When you have chlamydia, you can get pregnant. You have chlamydia, no problem. You could absolutely. Well, I was told otherwise, but that's not Mario. That's not, chlamydia is the leading cause of fertility difficulties. That doesn't mean you can't get pregnant if you have chlamydia. But, but who told you? One of your junior college buddies? No, you know what? Actually, went to I, I I'm I'm from California, and uh, strike one. Excuse me. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm from California, and uh, there's this uh, this doctor that my girlfriend sees very often. I mean, she, she you know she's been going to her for a long time, and she told us this, and uh, we were treated for it, and you know. She- no, you misinterpreted what she said. Is that you could have difficulty getting pregnant if you don't treat it? If you don't treat it, you could have difficulty getting pregnant. It gets the leading cause of problems getting pregnant, infertility. And what I was leading to is that. Uh, 
Hold on. Rose pregnant two and a half months. Mario, do you do you know what Drew just said? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Hold what on are you taking for your ADD? <clears throat> no, I don't have ADD. Sorry. No. No, nah, but I'm yeah, go ahead. Know, listen, I, I honestly didn't know that uh, that you know that you know she could have. But, but my problem is that they told me otherwise, and she's down pregnant, and she came up positive again for the committee. Does that mean that either I slept around or she slept around? Wow. Uh, well, let's just go with yeah. Play it safe. It's suspicious. Uh, it also could mean that you guys weren't adequately treated first time around. Um, I, mean, I mean, is it possible for it to be treated and then it comes back by itself? Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Not likely, but it's possible. Well, let's just assume it is. How, how, she's a couple months pregnant? She's two and a half. <clears throat> and they gave, they gave her the medication for the treatment? No, actually, we just found out today. Okay. How old is she? She's uh, 18. All right. Mm-hmm. What are you guys uh, going to do? Give the kid up for adoption? No, no. I actually wanted the kid. The only problem I had was that I thought that we were treated for it. You know, it was, everything was settled. She got, I got her pregnant, and right. now all of a sudden she has it. And I know I haven't been messing around. Really? So I mean, that, really? You really? Uh, you wanted a kid at nineteen? Well, actually, it was just like, you know, what it was is that she was. She, we thought she was pregnant, like back then, and she really wasn't. And we both took it. it took very well i mean we were ready to you know accept responsibilities and everything so that i don't know it's just like we just we you know she got off birth control and everything and we just Pow. live together now and we just really you gonna get married yeah we probably are <clears throat> probably we are. what do you what do you do for a living i'm Some... a construction worker union oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> what 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 trade you in i'm in lather lath yeah oh that's trouble is stucco work no no lath uh it's 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 before it's that uh, the metal chicken wire. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't, don't stucco do over it. You know. what, what happened? What yeah. goes over the lath? The the stucco, but I don't do that. I just hang the lath. Okay, but all right. But is it that confusing when you say lath and I say stucco? No, he just hangs the lath. Yeah, it's because I, I know. Yeah, it's, it's hey, listen to me, wise guy. You put the K lath on, then you put the scratch coat, then you put the brown coat, then you put the color coat. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, that's a horrible job. Who's getting it in the ass? <laughs> what happened? I was All right, kid. Mario. <laughs> All right, man. All right, no more kids, though, right? Uh, probably not. Please. Come on. Right. Come on. Okay, buddy. Have fun. Yeah, I will. I'll try. Dude, you're 19. Be 19. Spider-Man's in the theaters. How did you get someone pregnant? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I haven't I even know. bathed. I like, I like, I don't know, the, the thought about settling in or is like, just... I get a head start on anything, you know. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, head start on death. That's the way I look yeah. at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a nice way. A to head propose. start on everything. Then he's going to kick kick back. Yeah, the lab hanging that lab. I have my him, fun when I'm put him in the clear. Yeah. Once yeah. I yeah. once I get a couple of kids, I can just relax yeah, and not back. worry about stuff. Yeah, that's right. when I can <laughs> finally. That's what he was saying. Untense <laughs> is when I get a few kids. That's what and he was saying. Once yeah, once yeah. I, I get a my prostate gets the size of a medicine ball. That's wow. when I can if really. If I can have a just good time. get subsistence wage and a litter of children, that that's going to be like Club Med every day, man. Right. Meanwhile, he's going to. Tetanus is going to kill him on his uh, 22nd birthday because he's going to get Scratch. stabbed with that. So that laugh. Oh, that laugh's a horrible job. Just a chicken wire. Chicken no, wire fiberglass, no. basically, isn't it? No. I mean, it's close. You're thinking a broken metal laugh. That's what it looks like. It's yeah, no, it's it's uh, squared off. It's got, uh, the, uh, it's got the tar paper behind it. Okay, you staple right. it to the studs, then the guy comes on with the hawk and starts spreading the... Welcome to the Car Talk, talk. Yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've done some uh, scratch coding. Yeah. Oh, boy. Chris? Yeah. What's up? How you doing? I wanted to know, uh, I go for hours, upon hours, and uh, I wanted to know if there was a quicker way I can uh, orgasm. Do you uh, take any medication? Uh, have sex. Yeah, have a partner would right. probably help. <laughs> That's right. Put it in hours. a lady. I go for hours, too. Right. I've been married for three years. Married for three years. Are you on any medication? No, I'm not on any medication. And you've always been this way? Always been this way. Mm, this is just you. Adam, you, you want to give him your, your special masturbation talk? Yeah. Are you drinking that new hard forever soda that's out? Because that <laughs> really messed me up for a while. <clears throat> and, and even after, I'm still hard. How often are you having sex? After having an orgasm. How often are you having sex? Uh, twice a week. 
All right. How, uh, <clears throat> what, uh, when you masturbate, what position are you in? On my back. Do you masturbate regularly? Uh, maybe twice a week. Hey, would so, you turn your radio down, please? Or off? Or off. So why don't you cut down both activities so it's a total of twice a week, first of all. Maybe that'll get a little head of steam going, okay? Uh-huh. Well, how long does it take when you're alone? When I'm what? Alone, when you're masturbating. Oh, it still takes a while. Really? Yep. I mean, it takes an hour when you're alone? About 20 minutes. Really? Is it really that long? Yeah. Jeez, you're 25. You're going to have to shave uh, time off, to the, off of that. Yeah, that's a West Wing episode, <clears throat> man. I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on a second. I'm going to do some math. 20 minutes times 6. Jesus Christ, it's two hours a day for me. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't do that. How do you squeeze that in? Yeah, no, it would be impossible. Chris, <clears throat> yeah. you're going to have to shave time uh, off the masturbatory session, and then that will translate into the bedroom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. All right, listen, what, what do you want me to do? Come over there and suck you off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> hey, can, Drew, can I ask you one more? Oh, shut yeah, up. I wanna, uh, no, no. Listen, I, he won't turn his radio down. I can't understand a word he's goddamn saying. And he's all he's bragging laughing. about being able to hold it forever. Yeah, right. exactly. That, that's I don't how you need guys, to that. that. Right, that's how you guys experience what he was saying. No, no. Mind yeah, you. He's totally no. bragging. He was just no. saying no. a question. He was asking for help. Uh, one more thing for... Uh, from TV. One more thing for, a a minute, for so, Dr. Uh, Drew. Uh, I have x-ray vision and I'm invulnerable to bullets. Now, what's that like? What should I do? Yeah. Yeah, my breath smells too good. My farts smell like hickory, and it's a problem because people think I'm barbecuing when I'm gassy. <laughs> and I pee crystal, and, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on. Sometimes when I shake guys' hands, I break them. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do push-ups with no arms because one-arm push-ups don't give me enough of a workout. <laughs> and I poop fine ivory, so, you know. Yeah, do sand candle dookies. <laughs> Sand candle. There's yeah. something you haven't candle. seen in many years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's been to Christian summer camp. Yeah. I uh, yeah, my loogies come out like God's eyes. <laughs> and uh when I blow when I blow a snot rocket it comes out like a lanyard. I got arts and crafts coming out of me. Yeah. You know the prompt? Remember when candles were popular? Mm-hmm. And they had like a nice 70s resurgence. They put ice they, in the wax, too. Remember? Yeah, the, the, the uh, sandcastle yeah. thing. Uh, the sand candle thing. And then there was this one. There was like the cheeseburger candle mm-hmm. and the banana split mm-hmm. candle. But there's, there was always a little controversy because you couldn't light them because now they were a mess. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone always gets stoned and they'd light the cheeseburger candle. And, then and your it, mom would be it, furious. Yeah, like, you lit the candle! <laughs> They'd melt wrong. <laughs> right. I remember those candles that were like, they were just these huge cylinders of wax just in people's f- uh, living rooms. And they would, but they, they would never see them lit or they would, the adults would have a party and get really drunk and they'd light a few of them. And then they'd be melted in this really creepy, weird, look like these Lovecrafty and just smelly things of wax in people's yeah, living who, rooms. Who, de- who decided between, you know, ni- 1974 and 1977 that the candles should make a strong comeback? Right. And then, uh, inevitably, they would just melt on a hot day that someone would, uh, the sun would come through the window and just melt yeah. the cheeseburger. Yeah, so All right. Uh, Pat Oswald, Brian Posehn are here. They're going to be at the uh, Melrose Improv all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 17 bucks for the tickets. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll speak to uh, Tyler, who's 13, has a uh, protruding nipples, very big nipples. Is Tyler a guy? I don't know. Do we know? You want to find out? Mm-hmm. Tyler? Yeah. Your guy, right? Yeah. You got okay. big nips? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Hold on. All right? Okay. All right there, buddy. We'll uh, take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Drew over there. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Patton Oswald and Brian Posehn are here tonight. They're going to be at the uh, Melrose Improv, mm. the uh, world-famous uh, Melrose uh, Improv, the original It's going to be improv. great, world-famous. 
That's going to be uh, Friday, yeah. Saturday, and uh, Sunday this week. It must be nice to uh, stay in town, not have oh, to head out to Orange County. Yeah, yeah. twenty minute drive home after Omaha, Nebraska oh, yeah. last week. Omaha last week. Oh, yeah. really? It, uh, what kind of place? It was this place. Actually, the club funny was bone. kind of fun. It was called the Funny Bone. But then when you're out, you know, it's hard to go any place in this country and feel like you've gone someplace anymore. Because, mm-hmm. like, oh, there's the borders. There's the Starbucks. It's like, mm-hmm. y- for it all, all you know. It's like a Sacramento mini mall. Every, yeah. Every- Right. For all we know, we right. got on a plane and they shook it and put pictures of clouds in the windows for like three hours, and then we just got back off and they had taken us to Sherman Oaks without telling us. Well, I don't know. It was <laughs> it was that weird. It was that you know, like what Capricorn the? three, Where Capricorn <laughs> one, <laughs> oh, yeah. well, OJ was three. There. Capricorn three was the movie, right? Yeah, I thought no, it was Capricorn, Capricorn one. one. Oh. Yeah, you're thinking about the sequel that you're working on. Drew, do you know what we're talking about? <laughs> he, I don't never saw the movie. But I remember that movie. Yeah. OJ Simpson OJ and Sam it. Watterson. I'll tell you, I, I gotta, I gotta watch that movie again. Saturn three. I, oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Let's uh, talk to uh, Tyler, who's uh, thirteen. With the big lips. Oh, Tyler. Tyler? Uh, Tyler uh, oh, fell Tyler. off. Apparently, he uh, bent over his nipples and hung the phone up uh, mm-hmm. inadvertently. Oh, Tyler. So let's talk to uh, Tiffany, who's nineteen. Tiffany. Sweet. Uh huh. What's up, Tiffany? He sound like a delight. Yeah. What's up? Mm, nothing. Let's see if we can get her going. You have a question. Yeah. Now would be the time to ask it. All righty. Uh, <laughs> Hard to... don't name moi. What's up? Nothing. Okay. What happened? Nothing. Oh, all righty. Mm-hmm. Dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Go. Seriously. All right. Cool. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, when I have sex, I can't orgasm. But when I masturbate, it's just great. Okay. Well, that's... Okay. Don't have sex. That sounds a, like a little rhyme. That's especially normal at your age, 19. Really? Very few people are able to have orgasm during intercourse, and many women don't ever during intercourse. They tend to have it just with, That's right. with oral Not sex. Only with me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not when they got the eyes betwixt the thighs. <laughs> yeah, the grease man. We're going to be doing it. Throw it in. Got to be a low man. Bud, 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 So, Tiffany, that would be a normal thing. Okay. Yeah. Do, do, have you had oral sex with him, or he with you? Uh, yeah, and, I have. And does that does that make you have an orgasm? Uh, no. Okay. Well, what about what you're doing when you masturbate? Can you instruct him how to do that kind of thing? Can I tell him how? I could. Could you tell us slowly? But wouldn't that wouldn't that be sensible thing to tell him? Yeah. All right. What well, what the uh, fact that you get an orgasm at all actually puts you ahead of the curve. A little bit. Really? Yeah. Eight, Eighteen nine year olds usually have some difficulty. So females. Did, have did she say she could have one through oral yeah. sex? No, masturbation only. Mm. Tiffany? Yeah. I could give you one through oral sex. Oh, for real? Yeah, I give you my uh, my carpet bombing technique. Ave Buster, take as out he the, calls it. No, see, I, t- yeah, I take out the whole village. Mm-hmm. That's oh. my thing. Ah. Yeah. Right. I call mine the daisy cutter. Daisy <laughs> <laughs> cutter. Make sure to do a very close shave. Daisy cutter. Huh? Very close <laughs> shave. Make sure he shaves close and then... In with It'll the daisy fun. cutter. In with the daisy cutter. Please don't eat the daisies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Operation Freedom. Do you, uh... Do you, freedom. Do you, uh... Is be, do you, you don't use a vibrator, right? Uh, occasionally. I have one. Okay. Right, maybe use that with your boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. I'm too excited. Right. Hey, uh, are you just uh, give him a hand while he's down there? Hold you know, on. you don't sound like a very excitable person. I mean, nothing personal, but maybe you just like, yeah, okay, it's good. I'm way excitable. Oh, I think okay. she's, I think she's good looking. Is that, is that what's going on? Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ugly. I mean, I'm, I'm hot. You are hot, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, because you're, because uh, you're a bitch. I can yeah. always hear that. I can always hear <laughs> hot on the radio. Because you know what hot chicks do, especially hot 19-year-olds? They act like you called them. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's their entire life. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Good luck with the hot, baby. All right. Thank Ride you. it for all you can. I Be will. a stripper. Take a picture. I okay? let people tell me I should. All right. All right. But understand, you're, you're a major pain in the ass. All right? Oh, and uh, Tiffany? And the, uh, uh-huh. Put, put them on the glass. The, all right. Uh, the only reason uh, people tolerate you is because of your looks, all right? Yeah. Okay. Keep all that right. in mind. <laughs> <laughs> hot looking chicks have no idea how bitchy they are no. and it comes across on the radio so if, in real life if if she just came in in this room left we'd be like that oh, tiffany was a delight <laughs> she was fetching i was smitten no you would you just, you just be you wouldn't say anything you'd just be uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah here's what happened we'd just be uh-huh, yeah uh-huh, uh-huh. and then she'd leave the and we'd talk on. about how hot she was <laughs> exactly. she was hot she was hot and 
Uh, Drew, am I ever wrong on this hot hot chick thing on the radio no, business? You hit it 100%. You talk to someone who's like, first off, the 19 year old hot chicks, that's more celebrity than we'll ever know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, no, there are more one. celebrities than celebrities. Right. Right, because, because it, they can get celebrities. <laughs> it, it, it's a visceral celebrity. Yeah. Like, we may be uh, celebrities. But then I go to my grandparents' house, and a couple right, of our old right. fart friends come by, and they're like, are you still doing construction? Well, we're only celebrities if someone recognizes us, but everyone recognizes That's a right, hot 19-year-old. Right. That, that is everyone right. Everyone knows them. Mm-hmm. That's right. They're, mm-hmm. they're, like, they're animal kingdom celebrities. Yeah. And they're really, they're like what, what leopards are. Animal yeah. kingdom celebrities. And they don't right. got to develop a personality. No. And they, see, they just act like we would act if we were in their position. Totally. Like, here's the deal. Dr. Drew gives him a little advice. It's not really going to help him. Why try to appease him with a, oh, thanks for your time? Instead, you get the, uh huh. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, look, I, seriously, I got to go. Are you done? <laughs> well, you call me click. The eye roll over the phone. Y- yeah, you can literally yeah, hear their whatever. eyes rolling. <laughs> yeah, just... You can hear the tendons. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just roll your eyes? Oh, does that make a sound? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, not really. Yep, that was it. Yep, they don't don't even pretend. Don't even pretend to care. Carrie? Hi. You're twenty? Yes, I am. Yeah, this is why this is why it, as a nineteen year old guy you're just in no man's land. Uh, well, I mean you're, you're, you're purgatory. You're trying to date you're trying to uh, date that. You're just getting the it. crap kicked out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie? Hi guys. Yes. What's happening? How you guys doing? Good. You guys make work awesome. You know that? Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you at work now? Yes, I'm at work right now. What do you do? I process unemployment um, documents. Good. Very times. exciting. Very exciting. I tell you, they ought, yeah, they really ought to do like a, one of those uh, one-hour dramas about that. Sure. I don't know what they'd call it, but you know, I had an idea about the U.S. Patent Office. There's a lot of, a lot of ideas. Hey, uh, Carrie? Yeah? You, you, well, you have to do that all night? Yeah, I'm here until 1 o'clock, which is what, 12 o'clock your guys' time? Yeah. You're in, Den- yeah. You're in Denver? Yes, I am. That's right. You know what sucks is I hear your last night's show. I don't hear tonight's show. Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, this, whatever. Yeah, last night's show sucked too. So you're you're in a world of hurt. But well, you know, actually, I've been on hold forever, so I've been listening to you guys tonight. Uh, so. Okay, well, you'll listen to this show on Sunday, right? That hurts my head. No, we'll hear actually yeah, tonight. So, am, am she up. like in a time rift? Am I, or are we going forward in time right now? <laughs> hey, who won the baseball game tomorrow? I'm gonna bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> make some <Huh>? money. <laughs> so what's up there? Off that. What's up, Carrie? Actually, Kerry? we were just actually even me and my coworkers have been fighting over what jaded means because you used it the other night, and yeah. then after. We heard you. I think it was Adam. I think Adam. You said it. Something about it's a kick-ass Aerosmith song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Aerosmith it, song. What does it mean? We've been arguing for like three weeks about this, and then we heard you God, say it, and then we're like, "What the hell does it mean?" Get a book. Are you, you should get a dictionary? About, yeah. J- you should get the yeah. the book with the th- with the word you know, the, meanings the, the, the in it. The big me- book the of word words. Well, of. I'm too lazy to go look at, look it up. Yeah, today. that's real. Three <laughs> weeks ago, you could have. The j- the God. dictionary says fatigued by overwork, exhausted. Yeah, but that's but not it's not quite right. No, that's the, not. The connotation is really that it's it's, it's, so, it's sullied. It's, it's soured it's, on yeah, something. Yeah, because yeah. jaded isn't physically fatigued. Yeah, it's, but it's know, sort of soured over it. Would be the when I got to the end of my understand. Yeah, 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 when I got to the end of my shift at pizza, I wasn't like, man, I'm really jaded right now. <laughs> you, I don't believe in nothing. It, it's sort of like you don't appreciate something you once appreciated yeah, or exactly. should because you've, had, you've yes. had too much of it. Too right, much of it. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like For instance, okay, can I use it in a sentence? Yeah, use it in a sentence. Carrie is jaded by unemployment documents. Carrie, okay. No, no, that's no good because it's because she would have had to have liked the unemployment. Doc- well, maybe she did. Ma- did you, no, maybe love she love line has jaded was- her appreciation of other radio programs. Ah, there you go. Yeah. All right. I'll, 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 but it's also I, 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 it, here's kind of what it is. She's become too. jaded because if of them. you you get used to staying in a four season hotel and then you go to a three star hotel and you don't like it, all right. you do is complain. Right. It's not quite. It's not quite jaded though, is it? After miles and miles of dong, either. Patton has become jaded <sighs> with the mail order. <laughs> That's real funny, Brian. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sullied by overuse is another definition. All right. All right. Okay, Patton has become guys. sullied by <laughs> overuse of dong. You, you know, you know, should have uh, said that, Brian, you moron. You, you know who gets jaded? You know, you, know, you know who gets jaded? 
like uh, cops who see a lot of see a lot of horrible stuff. Yeah. And then people say to them, uh, "Doesn't it bother you being an ambulance driver scraping kids off the ground off these moped accidents?" And it's like, "Yeah, it's been ten years. I don't even I don't even think about it anymore." Well, how did we use it, Carrie? How would you use? How the word did data? we? How did we use the word? Do you remember? I hey Maureen, how did they use it? How did Adam use it? Wow. He said like he said. He said, he, uh, you said something. I was, uh, I was talking about the jewelry form, God. actually. That was. No wonder it took him three weeks. Care. All right, Carrie, hey, thanks for calling. Thank you. All right, have fun at that job. Oh, yeah, thanks, guys. All right. Bye. Bye. Get a word book. I took a <laughs> mouthful of water a week ago, and I'm wondering, should I swallow it? It's just sitting in here. <laughs> I'm real thirsty, and it just, I, I don't know what to do. Colton? Yeah. You're 15? Yeah. What's up? Nothing. Um, well, actually, a lot Whoa. of problems. Woo. Okay. <laughs> but I do first want to say that, Adam, you're the man. Thank you. Drew, right. you're you're the man, too. All oh. right. You had, to, you had to get a choke on that one. Go ahead. What's up? Um. Well, I was paintballing yesterday. Paintballing? Yeah. That's uh, that's where you pull out and finish on the chick's yeah. face, I, mm -hmm. I think, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. it? Oh, in her ear? How does that go? Same thing as felching. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. You, you were, you. <laughs> is, is that, that's what you're talking right. about, right? Colton, you're in a, a commando mission, right? Paintball? Yeah. All right. What happened? Yes. And uh, I got hit in the balls. With a, with a paintball. Yeah, she didn't appreciate that. And no. so where are we now? <laughs> this is how long ago? You got to warn him, man. How long you gotta ago? either give him a heads oh. up or another fifty bucks. How long ago, Colton? Yesterday. Yesterday. All right. What's happening today? Um, and it's just like it, there's like sharp shooting pains and like they're all my my balls, are, my testicles are all inflamed. And are um, they swelling up? Huh? Are they swelling? Uh, this yeah, sounds they are, This yeah, sounds yeah, bogus. This, sounds this is so up. bogus, man. Bogus. He's, he's, he's barely. Cr he's barely not cracking up. And yeah, what color was the paintball that hit you? Yeah. What color was it? I believe it was yellow. Actually. And what oh, color? Uh, no, that's lying. Uh, and what color are your balls now? And yellow balls. Come on, people. So what? What? All right, Colton, you're lying. What happened? <laughs> you're no, lying. I'm, I'm, and and like every time I go to take a leak, it like it stings really bad. Yeah, that was a King of Queens episode. We did a paintballing episode, and uh, Kevin got hit in the balls. I all right. Well, listen. If you in fact that are they swollen? Like, yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, it, you you can get actually serious injuries from this. You can you can fracture the testes. They can die. I mean, you can you can get really serious problems. From not when you're problems. lying, though. Yeah, when no, you're lying. But if if somebody yeah. had been sort of traumatized, not when, when, when not you're when lying, it doesn't hurt at all. Your yeah. balls are fine. And not when it's happening in fantasy. If they land. are swollen. In fact, it usually wouldn't be both. It'd be one side. And uh, you need to get that checked out immediately if that's what's happening. I uh, I got shot by paintballs yesterday, actually, hmm. with the that's uh, right. with the Hawthorne SWAT team. And let me let me tell you something that's like uh, really really unnerving, which is I had I was wearing a flak jacket. Oh, hmm. it's a long story. The guy was standing off camera, and he was supposed to shoot me five six times in the chest <gasps> with these paintballs. But the thing was, is other than the flak jacket, I didn't have any protection on. So. He was standing about 10 feet away from me, but I was really hoping that he wasn't going to hit me in the neck with one of them. And it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a paintballer that had been sort of turned down PSI-wise for competition. It was the uh, SWAT team paintball that they put pepper spray in and shoot the uh, druggies with. Wow. Yeah. It's good times over there. This SWAT team, wow. this is... Uh, I, I got, I'll tell you guys during the commercial. This, yeah. is, uh, this is good times, the SWAT. It's like a bunch of toys. You do whatever you want. Flew in the helicopter, shot the machine gun. It's good times. Mm. All right, we're going to take ourselves a little break. Brian Posehn is here. Pat and Oswald, they're both here. From, uh, well, they're going to be at Melrose. They're going to be at the Improv this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we'll be right back after this. Buddy Love Line. I'm Adam Carolla. That is uh, Dr. Drew over there. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Tonight, Brian Posehn and Pat Oswald are both here from, uh, well, King of Queens and uh, also, uh, what the hell is the other show? Oh, just shoot me. That's right. And uh, they're both going to be down at the uh, Melrose Improv, and that's going to be Friday, Saturday. And Sunday, and if you want to get tickets, here is the phone number, 
three. And again, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Melrose Improv. All right. Good show, funny. Yeah, I got funny. Funny stuff. Funny. Said. Funny. We're funny. <laughs> poop. <laughs> <laughs> Fart. I said poop. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us. <laughs> you guys have been learning from Adam, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie? Mm-hmm. You're 16? Yeah. <clears throat> What's up? <clears throat> well, like, I have, like, bums and stuff. I mean, they're, like, white, but I know they're, like, not herbies. Where are they? Uh huh. Where are they? They're like on my vagina, and I know they're not herpes because they're not like cuts, and they don't hurt. Okay, they're inside, kind of. Um, not like just like on the outer part. Okay, hold on. Let just uh, let's have some silence for a second. Yeah, unacceptable. Is that us in the background? I don't think so. What's on well, in the background? Last night. It's. Oh, you're listening to last night's show? No. Uh, it's the radio, 105.9. Oh. Right. Is that us on the radio? Yeah. It is, yes. Mm -hmm. Go over and uh, put the uh, put the phone by it. I'd like to hear what we were talking about this time last night. <laughs> Ten to one, I'm, I'm making another beat-off joke. <laughs> or doing my grease man. <laughs> Schmeggy, <schmack -y. laughs> How humiliating would it be if I <laughs> that would you be just so put the hilarious. phone over there and like, go, Schmeggy, schmeggy, schmeggy. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Stephanie. Oh, the Bombay doors. Boo the bow. <laughs> Ever do it? <laughs> Stephanie. Mm hmm Go put the goddamn phone over to the speaker. He's making you're making fun of the stereo store guys. Go with the blow pump. Stephanie. Guy. What? Go over to your speaker and put the phone to it. Stephanie she doesn't want to. She wants to know about her vagina bumps. Stephanie. What? If you do Are this, we will tell you about your vagina bumps. Drew has an, a, an answer There's for you. There's a hidden treasure in those bumps if you will take the phone over to the speaker. Hold on. <laughs> this is incipient. It's like, oh, my God. It's like we're her parents. Wow. God. That's what her parents have to deal yeah, with. Yeah, all day. Step, just do this one thing. Just this one little thing. Uh, Hold on. I want to know about my vagina. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh let, me just, let me just pause the eye roll? Is there anything less rewarding to talk than talking to our callers? Anything in life? You know what I mean? I, and they hate it. They hate calling you. It feels like... They, they, they have the radio on full blast in the background, and then they're angry when, they, when you can't follow what they're saying. And then so you want to have a little phone with it, then they're angry about that. We, yes, we normally beg them to turn it down <laughs> in the background. But in, this is one it's instance... It's a sad commentary on our country that, that young people are so abused by adults and their parents and their teachers that we're all, we're all just painted with that brush. Yeah. You can't right. be helpful, you can't be friendly, you can't be anything. Okay, so well, but then they called. But maybe, maybe <laughs> Stephanie, maybe only. she misunderstands. Stephanie? Maybe you didn't hear us clearly, so we'll just go over it one more time. Here's what I would like well, you, you gotta, to do. Well, here's another thing. you got to remember this. Yes. It is 2 in the morning where she is. She's in bed. Hey, right? Hey, listen. Are you in bed, Stephanie? Yeah, I'm about to go to bed. Stephanie. What? Hold on a second. Drew, would you shut up, and then you can listen to me yelling at Drew to shut up this time tomorrow night? I am going to need you to turn up the stereo and go over and put the phone by the speaker, please. The radio, the radio speaker. I'm, I'm sorry, stereo must have uh, been she, confused. I don't want her to be... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I went to ask Mr. Yeah, Dr. Drew. Right. Okay. Yeah, go. What are some websites where I can find out about, like, breast reduction? Oh. Do you want to so find out about breast reduction? Talking. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. I have a D. Oh, this chick's hot. Yeah, she was a D cop, but she was petite. Oh. <laughs> Did yeah. you tell her not to do the breast reduction? Because oh, that just, to me just, is just listen. <laughs> California, yeah. Uh, Christina, you just need to make a uh, consultation with plastic surgeon. That's very really important. Yeah. To you. How, how big are you? I'm just a D, but like. Now, how big is the rest of you? Smeggy, smeggy. I'm really like small frame. Right. Like, I'm it's surreal. Nope. You, you look kind of you're like the uh, space needle. You <laughs> thin on the bottom. Old, uh, yeah, that's basically you no know, comment. Just right. just about up there with Smeggy mm -hmm. Smeggy, wouldn't you say? Smeggy. Haba do gaga. All right. Now, now reward Stephanie. Wait, wait, wait. I no, will. Right. Hey, well. we put her on hold. Well, well, we have to take a break.
Now, Stephanie needs to pick up the phone now, and then we'll uh, we'll talk to her. Stephanie, do not hang up. You, you Don't just... hang up, Stephanie. Right. But there's still some punishment that needs to be uh, dealt out to uh, Stephanie. Yeah, the four because minutes that was not executed very The four-minute wait before we actually answer her question will be that punishment. Okay, okay. But in the meantime, we'll say hi to Ron. Oh. Ron? Hey. What's up? Um, well, first of all, I'd like to tell you guys that you guys are like my heroes, and you're the two smartest people a lot. All right. Pan and uh, Brian? Yeah, thanks, yeah. man. Hey. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's take, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's take a break. All right. You're right. We, we need, we need Hold to, on, uh, Ron. Yeah. We need to regroup. Yes. All right? Yeah, we're all over the place. All right. We're no, gonna, we've gone back in time somehow. Yeah. They know what's going to be great is tomorrow night when they hear this show and last night's show on the rerun. Do you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that's right. Yeah. But oh, right, right. Drew, Drew's right. head is exploding. Yes. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Yeah, it's Loveline. I'm uh, Adam Carolla. That's uh, Dr. Drew. Pat Oswald and Brian Posehn are both here. Both are going to be at the uh, Improv on uh, Melrose this uh, week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Phone number, 323-651-2583. Go out and uh, see these guys. You don't have to see them uh, all three days. Two days would be fine. Bring it to your friends. They'd do like a mm-hmm. Friday, decompress, and then uh, Talk load up it. on like potassium or something. I think your mm-hmm. body loses mm-hmm. potassium. If you're having you a laugh. bachelorette party with all your dumbass friends, That's uh, right. don't come out. Oh, that I mean, oh, come out. That's that great. They, they, get, they get drunk and that's yeah, it, right? Exactly. Yeah. I have, uh, I've run into a few bachelorette parties in uh, Vegas. Drew, we ran into one, I think, on your birthday. Do you know that? Yeah, uh, yeah. There's like uh, 11 chicks named Tammy, yeah. and they've all had like five spritzers, and they're like, hey, come on, oh, come here, come here, come here. And you got to take a picture with, and then she's wearing the, she's wearing a uh, crown of uh, condoms, and it's, it's always <laughs> awesome. Uh, listen, listen, ladies, one day you're going to either have to have some guys or some lesbians really explain to you how to party, yeah. because this ain't it. It's just well, yeah. Bachelor it. parties are like that. The guy wearing the dildo hat and yeah, but we, bachelor yeah, parties are at least they're word focused and, and, and right. Bachelor parties mm-hmm. it's just it's like it's just all shrieking. It's like let's get together and just shriek oh, yeah. really yeah. loud. Yeah. Bachelorette, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. There's a, there's nothing yeah. there's nothing more pathetic than a bad bachelor party. I've been uh, about three. Where it's just a bunch of guys who don't drink sitting around. They're eating funyuns and like uh, diet Mountain Dew and. Uh, they decide to pick up and go to the strip club, and you lose like four guys between the Ramada mm-hmm. and the strip uh-huh, club. Yeah. So, what happened to Ken? Uh, he's you know, street lights came on. His you know, he's got a fourteen year old, so he it, I, it, nothing. It's and depressing. None of the guys sit close to the stage, and you're trying to get. I had a bachelor party once where they decided to go to a drag joint. Which is which is good for a uh, chuckle why? for about ten seconds, but there was no plan B. We're sitting around this. They were sitting around the Queen Mary in <laughs> North Hollywood for like three uh, hours watching uh, fat dudes uh, dance around who look whose like idea chicks. Was that? Yeah. And this, now Virginia Ham this, was, was that a the, pretty girl? <laughs> <laughs> was that this, the, the best? Yeah, this was the uh, this was the best man. Is he, is the is best he man's now? plan. The best man. Yeah. I killed him after that night. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, Technically, oh, no, awful. he's not. He's yeah, not married. The worst. Now, I don't worry. I scraped everyone up, and I there took him to a go. place called Star Garden in North Hollywood. Ah, really I know it. Now, had, you- a good, had the guy up on stage being caned by one of the chicks <laughs> in a Catholic <laughs> schoolgirl outfit. Merry Christmas, everybody! That's now, right. Do you want to talk to Stephanie and her white bumps? Do you want to talk to Ron yes. and his gush? Yes, I want Stephanie? to talk to the uh, the enchanting Stephanie. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, mm-hmm. how are you? You little delight. Your little cactus flower. Now, these white bumps can be like sebaceous glands. They, they can be glands in that area that can get white and sort of prominent. It doesn't mean anything. Are you sexually active? Um, have, I, you ever, have you ever had sex? No. Okay. But I've done, like, other stuff that, like, with mouth and stuff, so... Other stuff with mouth. You've done with mouth? <laughs> with mouth plus penis? No, uh, just with mouth. No. Ralph mouth or, or using your mouth? Using your mouth. Somebody, I see. Somebody using the mouth on her. I see. Someone using the mouth on you? Yeah. 
And you're right. If they don't hurt, if they're not sort of broken like blisters, you have fun. Then they're not likely to be herpes. That's right. And the, the other is, is it symmetrical? The same on both sides? Um, no. Well, like they like sometimes like I guess it's like white stuff that comes out of them. I don't know. Like pus? Yeah. Or are they like zits? Mm-mm, not really. I guess so. Kind of seems like it, but that's it. Hang like, on. Uh, uh-uh, not really. Kind of guess go seems so. like it. Seems like it. All right. Uh, uh, just, uh, well, clear I don't really know. She did the whole arc. Yeah. Stephanie, oh. are you on the uh, Yelp team at school? What? The, uh, cheerleader? Do you do any cheerleading? No. Shocking. What do, you, what do you do at school? What do you like to do? Um, I play softball for the school. You do? What mm-hmm. position? I guess you can't really say what position. So I might identify her. Right. Yeah, that's all right. I'd like to. I'd. I'd love to hear Stephanie on the bench. You know, uh, chanting, chanting, cheering. Up. Yeah. Hey, Banner. Hey, have you ever seen how, how female soft, the softball teams? Banner. They do what? cheers and stuff. And that, and that guys would never do that. Kind of thing. Let me tell you what, what. All right. All right. So did we? Did we help Stephanie? It, Stephanie, it sounds like something normal. But if you are sexually active, it's important to get a Pap smear, get a regular pelvic exam, and. <laughs> You're getting at age when it's probably a good idea to do that anyway, and they can tell you exactly what it is. Okay? All right, Stephanie. Okay. All right, All right. enjoy your life. Nighty night, nighty night. Don't get pregnant. Okay. Stephanie, stay with the mouth. Smiles are contagious. Who are you? Uh, Thus, you stay with the mouth. Who are you more attracted to, me or Drew? Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. Oh. You're a delight. What's your last name, Camille? <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah. I, uh, Sartre. I just what knew. I, I knew she would not disappoint when I oh, asked her that perfect. question. <laughs> uh, you, let me tell you something I don't like about the uh, softball, the, the female softball teams mm-hmm. at the collegiate level. Uh, first off, they don't wear baseball uniforms. They wear chick softball uniforms, mm-hmm. which I don't really like because to me, softball is baseball for chicks. So you know why I mean? shouldn't they wear they, chick uniforms? They wear shorts and, like, knee pads instead yeah. of baseball pants. What's wrong with that? But here's the part that pisses me off. They wear visors. They don't wear baseball hats. Do they? Yeah, they that's wear true. That's true. visors. They wear those, like, bad clip-on visors, the ones uh, you get at Santa Anita during like visor with, with day. The, with the, uh, like, like sweatband. No, not even not even that goes all the way around. Really? They wear the snap on, like you glasses, know those plastic. Like like, yeah, they, they yeah. wear visors that snap on, and the pitcher oftentimes doesn't wear one at all. Now I don't like that. I don't like when everyone on the team is wearing a cap or a visor, and the pitcher's not wearing one. Now, well, why is that? Who hmm. made that okay? Yeah. I didn't sign off on that one. Distracting. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine a, like a Major League Baseball game where everyone was wearing a hat, but the pitcher decided, "Yeah, I, I just wear my hair in a ponytail. I don't, I don't like, I don't like wearing a cap. It doesn't look good on me. It makes me look fat." I mean, what, what is that? I'm, gonna, I'm writing a letter, Drew. That's it. Mm. <laughs> you guys want to work that into your act? No. <laughs> no. Uh, you know what? I think you just worked it out. A premise is right. <laughs> yeah. So, so Ron, no, back. not funny, but seriously, <laughs> yeah. that, shouldn't she be wearing a Folks, visor? And what about the chicks just wearing a baseball? Folks, hat? if I could just pause for some remarks at this point, <laughs> just five minutes. I have some things I got to talk about. Ron, uh, Ron, we're back to you. We're back. Hey, hey. Was so that what's your problem? All right. Uh, I've been going out with a girl for about two years now, and. It's all been going good, and whenever I'm with her, I think it's all going good. But she lives a couple towns away, and I see her about once a week. And in between that time, uh, there's this other girl who goes to my school who I hang out with, and uh, I think I'm kind of attracted to her, and I don't know what the hell to do about it. (laughs) So you've been going out with this girl for just a couple weeks? No. I've been going out with my girlfriend for about two years. Oh, two years. So this relationship is probably kind of over, right? Yeah. You, I don't know. Like it is, it is right. One one thing about being seventeen, it's really hard to know when a relationship is over. And when you've been with someone as long as you have, it, it, it your sort of fantasy is that it's never going to end, and you can't imagine it ending. And yet your body, your brain's telling you something different. Your brain's going, "Hey, I really want to date this girl over here." Well, how do I reconcile that? Well, the reality is. Your body's telling you something. It's time to wrap this thing up. And in ten, five years from now, you'll you won't have spent three months in a relationship like right. this one that you just spent two years in because you'll know it's a run its course. It's time to wrap it up, and you'll have two to years. Know how is, to get it out. Two years is plenty. That's it. It's over. So, All right. Yeah, it sounds like it's, you, you got to listen to those instincts a little bit. Hmm. 
Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I'm suspicious. It certainly sounds like that. It certainly, certainly, we wouldn't tell you we'll go for it with this other girl you're attracted to. So just find a way to stay in this one that you've been with for two years. No, you you got to wrap it up, end it, and then you can go but do what's fif- normal. Fifteen to seventeen, and when you're that age, is forever. Two years it's, is a long. It's time. a long time, and it, it's a normal thing for these things to wrap up. I, I remember when I was in high school, it was like uh, same same thing with me. I'd. Uh, I've been beating off with my right hand for a couple of years. And, How many uh, years? Been about four years. Okay. And and it was great. I mean, you know. Then your right hand's living in another town, and yeah. you see it like once but, a week. No, no, right, no. He my just right became hand, attracted but, to the other side. Yeah. Left hand. But my, did, my right hand did go to junior college about two oh, towns oh, see, over. that's weird. Yeah. Then just one week, and you just take it to the A&W root beer and break up with it. and <laughs> Just well, I have st- it done with. I started noticing my left hand, and at first right. we were just friends. Like, uh, you just yeah, hang yeah, out I with it. it. Yeah, yeah. It, was it, it would just help me out. It would yeah. get change for you. It help would, you me. Know. It would like help me open cans, help tie your shoes. Yeah. Well, now, wait a minute. Wipe my ass. I, I remember this. It was also help making you feel better when that right hand took off for college. Remember well, the right. Was, was the around. left hand came in, yeah. and yeah. the left hand was talking a little bit of smack about the right hand. Mm. You know that the right hand probably wasn't good for the me. The right hand wanted a three way with the left hand, and you didn't want that to ruin everything and well actually the, the right hand was trying to get my foot involved <laughs> but, but I, wasn't it kind of awkward a few years later when you and the left hand had that fight and then you got really drunk and you and the right hand kind of hooked right up hand. just for that one night and then the right hand was like hey we're gonna you know start the next morning it's like all awkward like oh what did i do i was so <laughs> right hungry. you're trying to get out of there you know and the right hand's making you breakfast and you're like oh it, it, i was, gotta go i felt i felt bad and then uh to even make it worse a couple weeks later uh, me and the left hand ran into the right hand oh, at a TGI Friday. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, and it was like that that silence, you know. Really that yeah, uncomfortable, a lot of waving. A lot of tension. Yeah. Yeah, so so what's the moral? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Al, <laughs> you, you're 21. Oh, yeah, oh, hold on. Turn the radio um, down, please. Sorry. God. Sorry right. Huh. Isn't um, that like, I'm uh, calling in regards to the uh, softball issue. Yes. Thank you, um, please. I, I umpire from Little League to softball, adult softball and everything. Mm-hmm. For the girls' softball, I understand what you're talking about, how the how the pitchers sometimes have to wear the uh, hats and uh, visors and some do not. Yeah, what is that? Shouldn't there be a rule that they wear the visor? Uh, they actually implemented a rule saying that they can't. Uh, they don't have to wear it because it may affect the pitcher's delivery. Hmm. Well, listen, if you can't throw a ball while wearing a three-and-a-half-inch piece of plastic six inches up on your forehead, you should be drummed out of the league. That's true, but uh, you see how they throw their arms around? They wave their arms three or four times around. Okay, the all right, but what's with the plastic snap-on visors? They can't wear a goddamn baseball hat like human beings? Hey, it's individuality, from Little League to baseball. All right. He's saying they have to define like themselves as different from Little League. Uh, yeah, diff- yeah. Well, well, if they want to define themselves as different, why don't they just uh, smear fecal matter on their forehead? <laughs> it's the same difference. It's the same. <laughs> and no one can ever talk me out of that. The, 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 wearing, wearing a clip-on visor is the same as smearing stool on your head. No, no, no okay. different. Right, okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, good times. <laughs> All right, thanks, Al. But, Al, you agree with me that they should be wearing baseball hats, right? Yeah, because it is baseball. It's baseball. They're wearing a clip-on piece of plastic on their forehead. It, it, okay, yeah. Listen, obviously this is not ringing true to you two no, guys, but it, it God. put on ESPN three at like four in the morning after a couple of tall boys. You'll go insane. You'll attack the. TV. <laughs> I only do that when they got lumberjack or strongman stuff on. I love I, that. Stuff. I can. I I watch that too, Drew. You don't watch that because where the guys have the eighty foot yeah. redwood they're lifting. And yeah, they have like, these German guys. They look like giant babies, <laughs> and they just carry boulders around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're all wearing these big leotard diaper looking things. They're, they're all they're all Nordic. Guys, they're yeah. all like like Sven, exactly. Sven, 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 Johansson, Johansson, <laughs> right. Sven, and they're just these crazy. They're Vikings. They're they're yeah. they're all Vikings. Yeah, yeah. Sponsored by School Bread and <laughs> the Flamton Butter Bread, and they do these crazy things like the keg toss. Yeah. But once in a it's while, a it gets rough. a little hairy because as the fence that they and and like I said, this is a real world scenario. Right, you got a keg and there's a twenty five foot fence between you and where the keg mm-hmm. needs to go. Yeah. Well, we all know you got to chuck the keg. You need a big guy. How many times has the party been ruined by having the keg on the other side oh, of the barrier? The worst. You're tunneling under. Uh-huh. It doesn't work. Is it a Some... keg or a boulder they throw? They, they, they no, throw it's a keg. keg. They, they throw a keg. The, they do the keg toss. Once in a while, they 
throw it up, and it doesn't quite make it and comes back down on their side. Uh-huh. And you see the 300-pound guy doing, like, the Brody... Uh, <laughs> The shoulder roll to get out of the way of the uh-huh. falling keg, which is what's the, one where, what's the one where they have the tree they lift up and they have to. That's the Highland the, Games. Yeah, okay. yeah, those are the uh, Scotsmen yeah, Scottish. doing right. that one. Right. Yeah, the lumberjack competition is great too because uh, there, there's a few good parts. Uh, first off, this is an accident just waiting to happen. There's this yeah. one. There's 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 one good one, which is the uh, unlimited chainsaw competition, <laughs> where the guy. Has a he has uh, it's powered by a uh, turbine jet from a <laughs> from a vintage Huey Bell helicopter right. that was uh, torn out of a he got it from yeah. he bought it at an auction where they're selling Vietnam. It's got an engine that you have to stoke. Like, <laughs> right. really like coal you engine. hear it kick in, <laughs> <laughs> right? And the and the the blade on the thing is like twenty eight feet long, and the guy can barely control it, and he's just <laughs> waving it around. There's no chain break or chain no. guard or anything on it. I mean, awesome. a surprise hundred of people aren't killed a year in these competitions. The best one, too, is the one where they got to cut. It's the uh, it's the chopping one. It's basically the axe one, but it's six feet off the ground. You got to cut a notch in the log, put a board in it, stand on the board. Climb keep- up on the board and then swing this axe full swings with uh. a razor sharp axe but you're standing on a two by eight plank six feet off the ground that's just been stuck in a notch on this totem pole that you're cutting uh-huh. the three feet above it off it's crazy i'm i'm just waiting for on the pull back the board to come out and the axe just to go sailing into the crowd i mean Th- these guys should have to do the competition like really drunk <laughs> that it should be the drunk lumberjack competition right i would never miss a show yeah yeah if, you, you, between each like five swings of the axe you got to chug exactly. you got to shotgun a molson <laughs> <laughs> or you you do that softball thing where you put your forehead on the axe handle, you yes. bend down, and you run in a circle five times before you fire up the <laughs> unlimited chainsaw. <laughs> and the the, the 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 climb is crazy too because they got the spiked boots on. The guy mm-hmm. runs up a hundred foot pole, and then they're racing. Uh, up and so, down. so when you come down, just it's just jumps. a free fall. The other guy's yeah, guy got just... a little lead, so the other guy just jumps right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They try to make it up, and then, they, hey, you win forty dollars and a <laughs> and a free thing of oatmeal. What? You got a yeah, There's no buck, prizes. Bucket of scooter bread, a <laughs> Leaning Tower of Pepsi, <laughs> or bottomless bucket of fried dough down in Boers. <laughs> Boers. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, home of the gravy pipe. <laughs> uh, hey, Jay. Jay, you're twenty five. What's, What's up? up? Uh, I wanted to ask Brian a question. Um, I saw you about a year and a half ago up here in San Francisco. You guys were great. Are you coming up here again anytime soon? Wait a minute. He's, you saw us? Well, I'm sorry. By you guys, I meant him and Greg Kroops. I had meant to mention that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hurts, man. <laughs> I say, Brian, I saw you and Patton. Brian, when are you coming back, man? That was funny. Yeah, yeah. Patton. Owie. If you're coming, I'll come see you, too. Ooh. I'm at the punchline up there in two weeks for uh, some uh, cannabis uh, legalization thing on a Monday. Okay. Of all things. Really smoking like a real smoker. <laughs> Some kind of cannabis thing. Well, that, that, really... that, that, I don't know what they're doing up there, those I like hippies. the fact that it's on a weekday, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the hashes are working. But yeah, I'll be up there in the summer. It's going to be noon to 8 o'clock at night. Tuesday. Last hey, time was uh, how he outsmoked Snoop one time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did you outsmoke Snoop? Um, actually, yeah. Uh, Tell us about that. About uh, 15 minutes in, he was like, man, I'm good. Really? <laughs> yeah. Where was this? I was ready to keep going. Where was it? <laughs> um, it was. He was taping that show, Keenan, uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans, and uh, and I was uh, doing Mister Show at the time, and uh, we met on the lot. <laughs> the dog pound up, uh, right? You know, noticed me and uh, had seen my work before, and uh, were asking for a, a place to smoke, and I said, "Over here, my friends." And uh, you know, it's uh, it's interesting, but I have uh, toked out with Snoop on two occasions. And uh, one just and he a, smoked you under the table a couple or? of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's hard a, to keep up with. Wow, yeah, yeah. A lightweight. Well, here's the thing with Snoop. Who knows when he's stoned? <laughs> yeah. and by the way, how does his day change? <laughs> did I did. I, mean? uh, I did whippets with Loretta Swit, and she just. I, I was like, under like the four. Table. I was like, forget it. And she was like, come on. Buddy. <laughs> she would not stop. Uh, hey, I'll be in San Francisco in June. Oh, wait a minute. Put him oh, on hold. Where, where is it? Hold. I get rid of him? Yeah, we're talking to Mike now, but we're going back oh, to the okay. pot. Oh, okay. Staying All with right. the pot thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mike? Pot. Yeah. You're 19. What's up? 
I'm just wondering if all the herb I smoked back in the day is going to affect my kids when I have them. Say that again. The, the back, herb? Are, are you on the moon? No. Hold back, on. Back, back in the day, Better. meaning 1998. Listen to that audio. 2000. No, no, meaning now. How old is he? Meaning yesterday. He's 19. Yeah, back in the day for him was... Hey, Mike? Yeah. Probably not, uh, but if you're a daily pot smoker and you know, you've been doing that for many, many years, that's not something that's likely to stop. Not without something else replacing it. So, All right. Well, no, I don't do that anymore. I gave that up. So what are you doing now? Nothing. Nothing. And you're thinking of having a kid now? No, I'm not thinking. We're just, my fiance and I are going to get married in about six months, and we're just kind of thinking about it. Were you a daily pot smoker? But, but not, using not, was I a daily? Hold yeah. on. Hold on a second. Yeah, but if you're not using now... Right, it doesn't matter, but it, but it, it will. It really, there's no proof that it does anything to offspring. Other, but I'm trying to establish whether he's an addict or not, and if he is, he can they can inherit that the genetic predisposition for right. that. I want to do a little love line reenactment. Brian's like, so you're thinking about having a kid? Well, not really. I mean, me and my fiance were going to get married in six months, and we're and then thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no. So no. Uh, <laughs> the answer to every one of our questions always is no in this show. Right. No, and then they uh, actually repeat exactly no, what and you then said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing for a living? I work in an electrical warehouse. At a head shop. Um, All right. And that's going okay? Yeah, it's working out good. Okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, you you want to wait till you're, uh, you know, already uh, spiritually and financially for the kids, right? Yeah, of course. Be a good dad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, imagine imagine having a kid and uh, being underage. I mean, not being able to buy a six-pack. You're going to need <laughs> to booze right when there. you have a kid. Yeah, man. Good that's Lord. that's they, they drive you to drink it. All right? <laughs> I got one more question for you real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Dr. Drew, yeah. I have a shoulder problem. I got injured in hockey last year, mm-hmm. and it keeps on popping out, and I went to an orthopedic specialist, and all he said is it, it's popping out of place. And I'm like, well, Whoa. Whoa. Like the S word. <laughs> Boring. Jesus. All it's, right. It's pretty... Uh, Eventually, we'll need an operation. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I didn't tell this uh, on the air, but Drew, I'd like you to help me, and this is bizarre. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We were uh, l- last... Last week on the Man Show, the first season, we hired a couple of new juggies, which mm. is a, a great process, by the way. Just tons of chicks <laughs> coming in. I just missed those auditions. Remember <laughs> that? <laughs> we're, uh, you didn't get the breakdown. No, Jimmy called me. He goes, oh, Jimmy. dude, we're doing auditions. You got to come in, and I and I got there too late. Seriously? Oh, it, it was it, it it was great. It was great. Just oh, it's nothing better. Just a, a, a parade of hot chicks just yeah. kissing our ass and. Us asking them questions and asking them to like turn around and hop up and down and ride a pogo stick and stuff. They oh just do anything. God. Oh, it was huge. It was great. Had, had him doing push-ups and <laughs> oh look, looking at Rorschach tests and it, it was great. Who doesn't make it on that? Oh my God! Uh, yeah. It's, How I, many breaks did you have to take to masturbate? You'd, you'd be. I no, I did it right there. Oh, you just did it. They had a little. Dish. That was one of the tests. I, just watch Adam. Do masturbate. you have girls that just have no business being there? That oh yeah, up, you know the yeah, four hundred pound. Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But one chick post so we, up. We, uh, we, 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 yeah, transsexual. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> fresh <laughs> and fresh episiotomy scar. That'd be interesting. So we no colostomy <laughs> bag. We had it narrowed down to like five chicks, mm. and we were going to tape the show last week, and we had to pick two for the show. And so we had interviews where they actually just, no cameras rolling, just came into our office with me, Daniel, and Jimmy, and had a serious sit-down about, you know, how much coke they did and if they had a boyfriend. And one of, one of the girl's shoulders came out of her socket while she was on her sofa explaining something using her arms. She, just went she, she was just waving her arms. She, she was explaining that she was a free spirit, <laughs> and her shoulder popped out of the socket. Oh. And it was like... First, it was kind of funny. It was like, oh, and then it turned out it was very, out of the socket. Very painful. Huh? And then it was, you know, don't don't touch. What are we going to do? And we ended up having to drive her to emergency room and stuff. Yank. Now, I, I wanted to give her the lethal weapon, yank, just have her. <clears throat> the Mel Gibson <laughs> pop. Yeah. My question is, is what would be the proper way to put that back in the socket? Just distracting it. Like putting your ch- knee in her chest. Knee in the chest. Which I know. Well, already, I was already there. Yeah, you already had that position. Right. And then just grabbing her uh, and the arm with two hands and pulling, distracting it. Hurts like hell. Yeah, but uh, from a liability standpoint, I figured, yeah, let it. Right. <gasps> take so the, the, the poor girl just had to be, uh, like, put in uh, Big Tad's truck and taken down to, like, St. Vincent or oh, something. Oh. <laughs> it's really bad. It's a good story for her, but oh, yeah. shoulder came out of socket during the And she had her shirt off at the time. That was the, the bad part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Hey, I, I had to pull my pants up. She had to get her sweater back on. It was a mess. <laughs> Wiper. Uh, yeah. So anyway, she, no, that's not juggy material when your shoulder pops out of oh, socket. Uh, Chris. Yeah. You're 29. Yeah, I have a question actually for uh, Drew. Yeah. Uh, I've done 12 years to quit smoking. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I've been on it for about a month now. And it's actually a two-part question. The first part is... Uh, I was going to smoke some pot this weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, I was wondering if that's going to, I guess pot's a stimulant or a depressant, one of the two, I'm not exactly sure, and I know the Wellbutrin's an antidepressant. Are they going to, like, mix all weird and make me all whacked out? Or it, it might. You might have a funny reaction, but it's not anything that you have to be alarmed about. I'm not going to, like, end up in the hospital or anything? I, I, I think. wouldn't think so. You okay. never, you know, some people react. Marijuana is a very difficult drug to predict how people are going to react to. I've seen some very, very strange reactions to it. So. Okay. And then the second part was uh, uh, alcohol. Um, is that a problem drinking on Wellbutrin? I mean, I know on the, actually, you know, it should be Zyban Wellbutrin. It's the same thing. Same thing. From what I, from what I understand. Same thing. But I was reading in the Zyban, it doesn't say anything about not drinking, but in the Wellbutrin it says not to drink. Well, the, the, are you, the Wellbutrin XR? Uh, yeah, SR, right. that's correct, right. yeah. Um, well, why would it you, do that if it's, if it's, it's the, same the same substance? Well, because being, you're treating depression in the one case. Um, so when you're treating depression, you really shouldn't be drinking. I mean, so. I, listen, I've said it many times with that booze label on the prescription drugs. I would like some clarification on that. Exactly how much to drink or not drink? No, but uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, which is there's the no alcohol, the little martini glass yeah. with yeah. the slash yeah. in it. Now, is it the bad no alcohol right. or the is it, fun no it, alcohol? Right. Is where it, is if it, you mix it, your liver's going to explode, <laughs> right. or you're going to get a super buzz going? <laughs> yeah. Because they're yeah, exactly two very I mean. different decisions yes, yes. in my mind. Yeah. Because but, otherwise, it's like I'm going to supersize. I'm going to add. I'm going to add a little little yeah, Demerol and Maker's a Mark. Yeah, a little. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> but then you find out you have the Vicodin, and you find out you're screwing with your liver. Right. So uh, true. Is why? That true? Yeah. Yeah, bad time. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Why don't they have two? Why don't they have like a lightweight stamp and then a, one that actually has a liver? Picture of a liver on it with or the just, slash Or just going have the it. martini glass either frowning or smiling. So you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hurt my liver. Right. Or having, you know, or happy new year. That True. Seriously. I, I seriously mean this. But because, can't you take something like milk thistle or something to negate any no. liver? No. No, I ain't going to help you. No, 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 can't no, you no. dance under a gibbous moon <laughs> right. on the 17th of the month with a black cat? Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure that does that it. That would be about the same. If you paint your butt with pig's fat and uh, say the Lord's Prayer backwards, I heard that that fixes your liver. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, and you uh, indulge in a, a little bit of smash, smash. Hey. <laughs> you break off a piece. <laughs> Booter now, booter now. Hey. Hey, you pick you. You don't know the grease man. Don't you know the grease man? I do. I do. Bye, 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 bye. All right. Well, uh, uh, I'm a West Virginia guy, West Virginia <laughs> boy. West Virginia is my pride and joy. All right, uh, all right. Sorry. All right, that's enough. Okay, okay, seriously. Sorry that. Get a little, you know. We didn't have him. We had Dennis Erectus. We're going <laughs> to uh, over here. Yeah. Mm. Take a little break, and then we'll be back yeah. doing more radio guys. Nice. Nice. <laughs> hey, everybody. Love line. I'm Adam Carolla. <clears throat> that is uh, Dr. Drew. Pat Oswald is our guest tonight, along with Brian Fossein. King of Queens is where you can find uh, Patton. Mm-hmm. And uh, that would be uh, Monday nights at uh, 8 o'clock on the uh, CBS. Oh, our, and, uh, our big season closers on this coming Monday. Did uh, you want to give anything away? Uh, about? Ben Stiller is the guest star. Oh, really? He's pretty funny. He is funny. Yeah. I, I hate that. <laughs> and, he, and you know what? He's a he's a uh, he's a nice guy too. Yeah, he's annoyingly nice. He's very. Uh, he's Drew, like the, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Drew, we uh, met him, right? I can't remember. I mean, we met him over at uh, uh, O'Brien's house, Pat O'Brien's house. Ben Stiller. I didn't meet him that night. You didn't? No. Uh, I think was, came wasn't he, he talking about doing the show? He was, but it was after I left. But why were you yammering about uh, him doing the because show? Because Pat with... made a big deal about him and somebody else coming up, remember? That was him ben and Stiller. Ben Stiller, right. And then I he, thought he as did I was this leaving, show. he made a big deal of that. Oh, he hasn't done this show? Not in maybe years. He did. he did it when it was back in the days of the Ben Stiller show. Oh. With him and Gene Garofalo. Hello. And Gene... Yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, Brian Posehn is here, too, from uh, Just Shoot Me, Thursday nights, 930 on uh, NBC. And they're both going to be at the Melrose Improv on Melrose this uh, this week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the phone number, if you want to get tickets, is 323-651-2583. All right, let's keep going here and talk to uh, Tyler, who's 13. Tyler? Hey. Oh, Tyler uh, is the guy with the uh, large protruding nipples who we lost. Yeah. So oh, you're sorry, back, Tyler. right, buddy? Yeah. All right. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So okay. what's the deal? Uh, Well, my nipples are, like, kind of big, and I look at, like, all my other friends, you know, they got kind of small nipples. Mm-hmm. Y- is there, like, a lump behind them? What? Is there a little lump behind them, sort of? No. Well, what do you mean big nipples, then? Well, they're kind of like, you know, they stand out, you know, like from like running, they kind of stand out, you know? From running? They they stick out from your chest? Yeah. And the sticking out part is what what you find abnormal? Yeah. But but it's the nipple it's not the... itself, not the areola, not the part it's, behind it's, it. Do it's, guys it's, have areola? It's disturbing to talk about it in relation to male, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's somehow like a troubling. Everything is disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds just right. So, <laughs> Tyler? Yeah. I guess what we're trying to figure out is... Is, is this something from puberty? Because when guys hit puberty, the there's some estrogen produced... Uh, they get a lump behind it. Yeah, that. and they get growth of the nipple and a lump. They get something called gynecomastia. And it, it kind of usually goes away, and it's a normal thing. Okay. Unless you smoke a lot of pot, then it tends to stay. Pot tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is, right? Mm-hmm. All right, Tyler? Yeah? You're going to be okay, buddy. Okay. All right? Yeah, and also I have another question. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Um, I like this girl in my class, but I don't really know if she likes me, and I'm not, like, the hottest guy in my class or anything. Right. But, like, how do I, like, get girls to, like, like me or go out with me? Well, the, those mm-hmm. nipples are going to help. Yeah. If she see those... Wait 15 years, get a good job, yeah. and then... It's so hard, she that she sees is. those nipples poking through that training bra, she's going to know you mean business. Uh, what do you... And what is the 13-year-old asking that 13-year-old to do? You have honest? nothing. Yeah, yeah, what the... Like, yeah. yeah. Just learn kung fu. <laughs> That'll help. Just play no, video I, games. Try not to think about, about it. How about starting a band? I think that's about the best you could do at 13. Yeah. Or hang out in front of a 7-Eleven and look really sullen. That was a great pastime right. for me. <laughs> I look really just angry at nothing. Right. That Keep, tran- that um, that uh, translated into about a half ounce of poontang for yeah. uh, Patton. Ten years yeah. later. Or, or be funny around girls, and then they'll laugh, and then get it on with the jock that you hate. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the sense thing of humor that, does. You crack my boyfriend up so much, I can hear him chuckling uh, on top of me as I'm. Well, here, here's here's the here's the here's the problem with the sense of humor is, women always say beautiful women always say they they're very attracted to a sense of humor. But uh, be- liars! No, no, from my experience. No, let's be fair to them. No, they always say it. They do say it. Well, they do. between super hot guys, right? But right, they think. Lorenzo Lamas is a cut up. <laughs> yeah, the, you, you know John what I mean. Stamos. Yeah, John Stamos is really is a car. Hilarious. Ke- Kevin Sorbo cracks me up. <laughs> that guy, he's like Oscar Wilde and Noel Coward. Yeah, Coward. What the? What? All of a sudden, I'm attracted to a Texan. But no, li- listen, Drew. We have had many a beautiful woman call the show and many a beautiful woman in the studio and it's not that they don't like a sense of humor it's that they're stupid and they don't know what a sense well, of yeah, humor right. is. It's, it's yeah. also exactly. if we're funny they think we're mean. But they yeah. also they <laughs> confuse, Oh that's just gross. They tend to confuse physical attributes with other as- aspects that make a male attractive yeah, and they, right. like they can't sort them out. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, you know what I'm saying. I, I was just. I, I, I so don't what Doctor Drew is saying is women are stupid and no, crying. no, I'm not right. saying stupid. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not saying that. They it's all just, need to die. <laughs> it, it's it, it, we, he we, wants it, to f them to death. That's oh. what he's told me on many occasions. Every woman oh. on the planet. Oh. That's right, young and old, oh. family members. He you wants s- them all. You spend a lot of time up in Green River, right? <laughs> when you, you have a vacation house up there, <laughs> a lot of uh, standing refrigerators and let crawl me, spaces. Let me uh, let me tell you. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a prime example of <laughs> of what I'm talking about here. I don't know. It's stuck uh, in my head, and yeah. this is my problem. Oh, no. But uh, 
we Jimmy and I did a uh, bit for the Man Show uh, recently where mm-hmm. we went and got a nice makeover. We went to one of these day spas oh. and got the whole treatment. It was it was lovely. And hey, the I woman, your eyebrows have been much better shaped ever since. They, they, she yeah. she pulled she <laughs> pulled some stuff. She pulled actually a, a third eyebrow out of the middle of my two ah. eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a, a vine. I, that's right. So there was a good looking chick who was working on it. She was like twenty five and she was hot and she was doing some cuticle pushing and stuff yeah. like that. And I was watching the tape when we were editing it, and I, and I realized it, it dawned on me what I've been going through my whole life. So we're making jokes while she's doing her stuff. And at one point, she has uh, Jimmy's uh, hands up there, and she's get, doing like a, a manicure on it. And she's got these big snippers that look like lineman dykes, and she's snapping his nails, and she's turning her head and sort of wincing as she's doing like pop, pop, pop. And I said to her, geez, uh, you'd make a hell of a moil. And there's like a long, just, just <laughs> silence, just, just dead, dead silence, right? And then there's like a long beat, and Jimmy said, do you know what a moil is? And she said, no. And Jimmy said, it's a guy who um, circumcises kids, and she gave a look like, circumcised? So. Oh. And I just realized, that's the key. That's a key to me never, ever getting laid. Mm-hmm, and yeah. that's, Now, her thing is, she was a beautiful 25-year-old girl who would have said, I love a good sense of humor. Yeah. But these two guys no idea what a good with their crazy really penis is. jokes, yeah. and yeah. they were creepy. And what the, what right, the yeah, F? Exactly, yeah. no, That's how it works. We're, That's we're mean it. and weird. When and we no, and you funny. talk about yeah, yeah. weird stuff that they can't right. understand. Yeah, you reference things they've never heard of. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Smaggy, smaggy. <laughs> funny is the guy that repeats a joke from Allie McBeal <laughs> right. at the water cooler. And That's he's exactly the yeah. hilarious guy because he's Or the guy that can memorize a lot of bumper stickers. That's right. Gas, grass, grass. Oh, that guy's hilarious. Okay, you guys have come across as bitter now, so that's <laughs> real it is. Well, that's why there's that's why there's strippers. <laughs> that's right, Jake. Yeah, you're 26. What's up? Hey, um, actually, I had a, a few questions for you guys. First of all, pick the um, best one. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, uh, Adam, uh, you were in construction, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, prior to getting on radio and doing all the stuff that you do. No, I ha- I'm going to do it after I get out of radio. <laughs> I've not done it yet. I-, I keep getting mixed up with that. Yes. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, uh, I was just wondering uh, how. Why do you have? It seems like you have a resentment against construction workers. That's right. I don't. I don't like my own. I'm like one of those blacks that doesn't like other blacks. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Right. Um, well, also, I, you were sort of abused wait a by a these guys. I, oh, for that years. may have sounded confusing. I don't like blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I may have misspoken. <laughs> you were, you were, but you were abused by a lot of these construction. <laughs> but, but I don't like blacks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like anybody, so that's you know, but especially the blacks. mostly, yeah. especially the blacks. Yeah. And you, you, you used to Hold be. On, was that the qu- <laughs> you were sort of abused by the guys you used to work for. Right? No, I, I didn't. I work with a lot of idiots doing construction. Yeah. Uh, that's why uh, that I. It's it's not that it's a, not a noble way to make a living because it's not. But I worked with. Here's what I worked with. I worked with a guy, a lot of guys named Mike and Steve, <laughs> and they were uh, Vietnam vets that were strung out on painkillers, and they would do things like go to my truck and get my level, and you'd start walking out to their truck, and they would yell run. And they'd, like, fire a nail gun at your feet, and they'd yell stuff like, We got a dime holding up a dollar! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're just mean. Yeah. Yeah, right. but I don't like the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else, Jake? What else? Um, uh, and I was also curious, how hard is it to get into radio? Um, well, because uh, I've really been considering it. You sort of have to show up. That's mainly if you can just yeah, if you can st- show yeah. up. You start driving the van, then you, you answer the phones, and then they put you on the weekend shift. Oh, and really? And then uh, there's Maggie's Maggie, and you're right. <laughs> yeah, bada, bada, bada. You're right in there. Huber Dow. Are okay, you doing? Uh, you doing construction now? <laughs> well, actually, I'm I'm a, a floor covering contractor, and uh, and and I just feel like you know, I. Intellectually, I'm not feeling like I'm in the right area at no, all. No, I think you day. are. I think you yeah. are. I've talked. I to don't you know for... about that. All right, yeah, yeah. it's not not re- rewarding putting vinyl down and uh, no. spreading no. mastic with a notch it, trowel. It's it's pretty annoying, actually. I'm doing a Safeway right now, and it's just. I mean, I make good money. All right, buddy. Well, listen. You, you know what you should do? Go uh, go down to a radio station and just start just start volunteering on the weekends, just like yeah. answer the phones. 
All it right. might be a little tough in Seattle. It's a pretty big market. Right. You may have to go uh, out to Tacoma to, to or something. No, nah, just 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 answer the phones. And and if you're if you're good, in another uh, twenty years, you'll be doing the weekend shift. All right, <laughs> but I just answer the phone seriously. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. All right. And then the other question was... Um, no, no, that's enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> the guy practically is in radio at this yeah, point. Yeah, really He's is. been yeah. on the air for three minutes. Yeah. So. He's trying to get a reel together here. <laughs> All right. Let's <laughs> have tonight. He's doing an air check. He's going to sit down with his flooring <laughs> contractor and do an air check. Yeah. Rebecca? Hey. Hey, you're 18. What's up? Um, okay, my question is... Um, okay, when I orgasm... Mm -hmm. I tend to hold my breath a lot, and, and so and like intentional, what like intentionally, or just because you get in and you can't. Just because I, I like, I guess it's the anticipation of it, or just because I can't. I don't know what it is, but it, I, I had three girlfriends that did that, <laughs> but they would announce, "I'm going to hold my breath until you give me an orgasm." I understand. All dead, <laughs> and so the question. <laughs> <laughs> the question, Rebecca, is... Um, okay. <laughs> Look at these guys. They know comedy, uh, Drew. <laughs> uh, I love a sense of humor in a man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Rebecca, uh -huh. go quickly. All right, wait, wait. My yeah. question is that I want to know, is this, like, okay? Because, and also, is there any techniques to breathing while orgasming? Yes, think about breathing slow and deep. Just I try, just, but it's, just, just, it's just really Just breathe, hard. breathe, breathe. <laughs> and then and you, you, you don't pass out or anything, do you? No, but after, it's like I'm so tired. But know? is it like, it, you know, when you're on a... You, you go to an amusement park and they yeah. do like some free fall thing. You and it's like attempting to breathe during no, that. it's like, it's not real comfortable. Like until I orgasm, it's like very like difficult, you know? The Tell your partner to punch you in the back of the neck, right? As you're the about punch. to orgasm. Yeah, the donkey punch and then, then you'll breathe. Ah, uh, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> um. Just, just <laughs> contrary. No sense of humor. No <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, take a little break. Uh, Brian uh, and Pat. No wonder forward. I played so much Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, take a break. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm Adam Carolla. That is uh, Doug Drew over there. Loveline. Pat Oswald is here and uh, Brian Posehn. And uh, they're both going to be at the uh, Melrose uh, Improv. That is uh, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. And uh, the way to get tickets for that is to call 323-651-2583. Three. All right, let's take a few more calls. Bridget? Uh, yes? Yes? Yes. What's yes. up? Go right ahead, Bridget. Yes, um, I was wondering, uh, me and my boyfriend were having sex, and the condom, like, fell off inside of me. Right. Mm -hmm. And he had, like, already ejaculated, and I was wondering if I could be pregnant. It, it completely can't. It didn't, it didn't just sort of, there wasn't, the, the open end wasn't sticking outside of you. It was all inside, right? Yeah. Of course. The, the semen's in you now, right? Yeah. Okay, you've got to take that morning after pill. Okay. you got to get emergency contraception. You have a 72-hour period to get your hands on that stuff, and it will substantially reduce your pregnancy risk. Who got the condom out? Huh? Who got the condom out? He did. He did? Yes. Yeah, see, that's why I would have my assistant do that. Would you? <laughs> Years ago, I would have done it myself. He's got, now, he's got a lot yeah. of fingers or something? Eh, it's just, uh, he sort of mops up after yeah, me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. good times. All right, so he got it out, and it was, uh, but but had it been capsized, or it doesn't really matter, Drew? Right? Yeah, maybe you it's, assume it's out. It's something is spilled. <laughs> okay. And you got to get, when did this happen? Um, yesterday. All right, tomorrow, get that morning after pill. That's okay. rough. Sooner the better. You know, after don't I don't have a baby. After yeah. I come, I don't They're even want, I don't want to look at boobs. I couldn't imagine the fishing out wow. the condom part. You're, that's yeah. really shocking. Yeah, I'm <laughs> done. I'm done with women. Did your heart stop beating or something? You I'm no just. Pulse I'm, or... I'm done with women. Oh. I'm on to uh, TV and food. So getting the condom out would be a very difficult thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. All right, good times there, Bridget. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Let's, wow, we uh, finally helped someone. Matt, yeah, we did. Matt, hello. What's up, buddy? Hey, not much, uh, Adam. Wow, I finally got on. I have a question. All right. It's really bad, though. Well, not really, I guess. Okay, I have a girlfriend, and she... Yeah, that's pretty bad, man. She really sucks in bed. Bad. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? Well, I've, I've just... I've had a lot... I've only had sex with four girls, and she's the worst. Mm -hmm. She lays there. <laughs> That's it. Just like lays there and you're like, gay. 
Uh, and closes her eyes. Right. And I've only actually, like, I can only say I've had good sex with her twice. And I was not sober either time. And what was different about those two experiences in terms of how she engaged? Well, what do you mean? What did she do differently? She was awake. Well, uh, she was not sober either, and she was getting into it. I well, see. there's your solution. Right. Drink up. Alcohol. Was she, was she abused she at one was, time? Well, like, when she's not when she's not sober, then she's, like, she gets into it, but her way of getting into it is, like, closing her eyes and enjoying. I've only, um, she, I've never even, like, no guy that she has ever been with has caused her to have orgasm. Was she sexually abused? Uh, not that I know of. I haven't talked to her about it. Did she give you oral sex? Uh, she has before. And how's I, that? I, I, oral sex does nothing for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this punk stinking up the airwaves. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you know what that is? That's dangerous talk. He's right? lying. I won't yeah. have that. I won't yeah, have it. He's lying. And, no, there's some guys that are not into that. Anderson, do we, do <laughs> we, we need miss, miss our eight second delay, or can we still drop that? I cut out the end of it. Good, good man. We well, need unity happened? right now. Since nine eleven, we need unity, uh, buddy. Yeah, can't have that. Yeah, you don't enjoy oral. That's treasonous. And the terrorists win. The, exactly. They don't want you to. That's enjoy why oral. they're in those caves so that we can't enjoy oral. <laughs> That's in the. I think it's in the Quran, isn't it? What, what's know. up with a guy who does not enjoy some oral? <laughs> true, you don't. No, it's not true. It's, and I know. I don't know what's up with guys that, that are into that. I well, could. nothing's up. But, <laughs> but, just, <laughs> but just the way you're into it a lot, you know, some guys are into some, and some guys. I didn't couldn't hang with that guy. Yeah. We'd have nothing to talk about. Yeah, I'm with you. It's like another species. That's right. We're done. It is another species. Right. We'll go for break on We're our planet. Break? No, I won't go out with that kind of bad oral taste in my mouth, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Got to talk to somebody else. Nicole? Nicole, you want to talk to? Yeah. All right. Nicole? Uh, first, um, Adam, I really loved your bit on the whole right hand, left hand thing. Yeah. Don't encourage oh, thank him. You. Nicole, thank do not you. encourage him. <laughs> Forgot about that. Go ahead. Uh, my question's for Dr. Drew. Yeah. It's about um, the birth control pill. Mm -hmm. um, you know how you can use those to manipulate periods? Mm -hmm. Like if you don't want it, you can right. take the pill for yes. an extra week. Are there any long term risks? Not that we can tell. In fact, some gynecologists are prescribing it continuously without getting your period at all. Oh, okay. For six months, even permanently that way. I, I'm of the opinion that there may yet be something with that. But certainly you for a few do, months at a time, there's you, nothing. You do grow a penis, but that it doesn't... You're still a woman. You know that, right? The only side effect. Yeah. yeah. You still have the... You get to keep the vagina. No, no, yeah. You, you don't, don't lose doesn't go that. away, but you get a penis. <laughs> All right, Nicole? Okay, thanks. All right. You can uh, bend it around and uh, use it on yourself. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. Good time. I so thought of that and it didn't go there. <laughs> well, uh, we'll, just, we'll, take a, uh, we'll take a break. Well, that's why the girls thought I was Leave it to school. Pokey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. That is the show. I want to uh, tell everyone to uh, head out to the uh, Melrose Improv uh, this week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. See Pat and Brian over there. And uh, again, 323-651-2583. We're funny. I want to th <laughs> thank our own uh, Brian, the phone screener, for doing a great job uh, all week. And uh, Tara, don't call me Tara, goddammit, for doing a uh, great job on the phones. Producer Ann and uh, Subco Mini Producer Lauren for doing a uh, good job this week. Mini and, of course, uh, <laughs> Engineer Anderson for... Uh, Doing a fine, fine job. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for good having time. us, man. So, until next time, this is Adam Corolla for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Step and just do this one thing. Just this one little thing. Uh, Hold on. I want to know about my vagina. This has been Love Line. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Wilkins Engel. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.